Hey, folks, spotty showers across the valley again today. Things are quieting down somewhat now. Still seeing some action right along the coast. That's fading. And then we've got the stuff up in the upper valley that has just moved through Edinburgh now up to just north of Alton. Continue to push off toward the northwest. Might clip more field, and that'll be about the end of that, at least for now. But this is another night like last night with stuff could fire up close to the coast and then try to move inland uh, pretty much at any time going southeast to northwest. When you look at the cloud cover picture, you can tell these were not particularly big showers because they just barely showed show up when we're looking down from outer space. You can see it, but it's just not all that impressive. They're low top showers, meaning the upper atmosphere is pretty dry, so it builds and then it can't go any higher. So it just doesn't turn into much. Let's watch future track. Suggested again, spotty showers overnight. Then during the daytime tomorrow, spotty showers possible again. Like today, it's a mix of clouds and sunshine. A lot of places don't get anything. You might see the cloud off on the horizon, but you get no rain. Other places pick up some pretty good stuff. We got about a third of an inch here in our studios today. Thursday, same kind of thing, spotty activity around the region. And then Friday, still models hinting we'll see scattered showers again during the daytime on Friday. So our rain chances go 20, 40, 30 over the next three days. So the chance is there. You get something at least one of those days, no matter where you are. Here's a look at the bigger picture. There's a big ridge sitting right here and all the moisture is going down around it, up over the top of it, and that's really kind of controlling things sitting right there on the map. All this moisture around the south side feeds kind of right into South Texas. You kind of see it moving right into our region. So we've got an open door to the tropics and we do have a little bit of an inverted trough moving across the southwest Gulf of Mexico over the next few days and that will continue to feed moisture into deep south Texas. Texas. Now, the model suggests we get a break Saturday, Sunday with the less activity around, maybe not completely dry, but mainly dry. And then next week, we're going to watch on Monday, probably, as a cool front enters the picture, comes down from the north. We'll talk more about that in the next half hour, but it looks like maybe Monday we can see a front in the region. We'll talk again more about that in a few minutes. In the meantime, we are watching this system as well. This could, of course, impact things as it moves off to the west, but about a 10% chance of it developing, so we'll keep an eye on it. Another system going the other direction that has a 10% chance of developing, and then we have Hurricane Lorenzo, which has already developed and developed and developed. A still a strong storm. The winds right now 100 miles per hour. These are the Azores, and it's going to sideswipe right with the northwestern Azores right now just 285 miles or so to the southwest of there. It kind of goes right near there, and by late tomorrow afternoon, still a hurricane with 80 mile per hour winds. Then look what happens. It goes up over Ireland, Ireland, northern Ireland, and down into England. Still Friday afternoon. Just a remnant low, but with 40 mile per hour winds and a lot of rain. It's already chilly there. It's just going to be a mess up there by the time we get to the end of the week. For us, temperatures right now all in the upper 80s and low 90s. Tomorrow we expect readings to be a lot like today in the 90s, easterly winds. And the next three days, temperatures are going to stay right out or above normal. The normal high now is 89 degrees. See, first one five vacuum with a forecast for tonight, 75 with just spotty showers, east southeasterly winds. Tomorrow, again, a spotty shower possibility. Like today, not everybody gets rained on, but a few folks will. Look at the next seven days from AccuWeather. You can see that we keep temperatures in the 90s through most of the forecast period. Tuesday, maybe a little bit cooler, 87. Storms with the front Monday night into Tuesday. Timing still suspect, still some question marks out here. Again, we'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. That's your updated First 1-5 AccuWeather forecast.